This little fish is a remora, also known as a suckerfish. One of the things that the remora can do is stick to other fish and remain stuck while that fish is swimming. This sticking ability is pretty useful for the remora, but it also caught the attention of Giovanni Traverso, a gastroenterologist. One of the things we're interested in doing is having capsules that can stick in, inside of your GI tract, inside of your body, so they can do different things. You can imagine, if you're standing in the GI tract, there's all of this food or liquid coming down, and there's a force, and that's the sheer force that you're trying to overcome while remaining stuck, essentially, to the wall. And so that's a similar challenge that the fish remora experience when they stick to the shark. So Giovanni and a team of researchers decided to investigate exactly how the remora manage to attach themselves to the soft, wet and moving surfaces of other fish without losing their grip. And it all comes down to this suction cup-like disc on their back. So in these images, what we can appreciate is sort of the larger sucker system. And you see that large sort of plunger-like system in the outer rim. And then inside, there are these comb-like structures, and these are the lamellae. And then we zoom in into the lamellae, and you can see now these combs or rows of combs. And we zoom in further using electron microscopy, and we see the tiny little teeth of these combs of the lamellae. And so this big sucker allows for essentially suction. The comb-like structure forms smaller suctions. But then you have the little teeth that are also interacting with the tissue to really maximize the physical interaction and friction between that part of the organ and the substrate or tissue. Once they figured out how it worked, the team made their own version. The device or the synthetic remora that we developed is essentially made of silicone rubber. So it's soft and the inside has these tiny little teeth. It doesn't hurt, but it does stick to all sorts of things. They even tested it on the inside of a pig. You can see here the device goes from free-floating to stuck against the wall as the muscles contract. They found it could stay attached for days or even weeks before dropping off by itself. And a device that sits in the gastrointestinal tract for an extended period could be ideal for delivering medicine, especially medicines that need to be taken regularly over a long time. Over 50% of people fail to take medication as prescribed. But if we're able to make it easier, such that you know, someone could take a medication once a week or once a month that's associated with higher adherence or compliance rates. The idea is that a patient could swallow a device like this in a small capsule, which would dissolve in the stomach or intestines so that the device was free to attach to the walls. In settings where there are few healthcare providers, we may have one opportunity to provide someone with a full course of treatment and therefore having the ability to dose a patient and ensure that they receive the full course of treatment really helps maximize that person's health. There are other applications as well. A sensor for monitoring reflux, for example, or a way to deliver vaccines. Giovanni and his team are already working on more ideas for this system, a new technology millions of years in the making. It's sort of this natural experiment, evolution that has taken place to really, I think, provide opportunity for understanding to then inform some of the fundamental engineering. I think it's really learning from what nature has already accomplished. The team even went full circle and tried out their suction device on a fish. Here they attached a little temperature sensor onto a fish's skin and wirelessly collected data from it. The device stayed stuck tight even in fast flowing water, just like the remoras that it's based on. And all this from a design borrowed from a suckerfish. fish.